Hello and welcome to Mchuma Reviews. Many thanks for joining us on this video. Remember, it is brought to you courtesy of Car City Limited, just on your way to your air center on Agwing Skode Road. And this video is also shot and edited by the one and only I, Moments Entertainment. Now, I'll just take you through this amazing car. This is a 2011 version, however, it has a really nice facelift. And maybe if you can just go around and look at the few quirks and features that you have in this car. For example, I love these really wonderful headlamps. They look so good, the xenon lights, and also have the daytime running LED that are just right here. Of course, you get the fog lights. And uh, moving closer, you get this bag as 18 inch alloy wheels that are actually pretty good as you can see this is a really solid car it's so huge so humongous and it looks so good and a lot of our politicians a lot of the big people in kenya really prefer this car and this is a diesel one therefore it's really good for you of course you get the sunroof and i know you guys are going to love it and if you go to move closer i want us to look at the tailgate which actually splits into two and press here and open it up it is so good and then you just pull this lever down here and it opens up so this is actually very solid very strong actually three people my size can actually sit here as you can see you get an extra pair third row seats which are actually good for children and opening up right here you get a few storage compartments that you can store in a few things and what else we just gonna do this to lock and then you also do the same on this other side and then you get a bit of storage right here as you can see this is a really cool storage it's a lot a lot of room and you just come and press this lever to fold down the second row seats and then also on the other side you press the lever to fold down the other uh, row of seats so you have anchors right here and you have also anchor this other side for you know anchoring maybe you want to you know uh, having heavy stuff and you want them to be steady and you have a power outlet on this other side so in some versions you really get the button you just press and closes up but now for this we just come here and put it back and just come and close it and you're good to go now let's look at the interior uh, now at the back seat these are really good spacious and i love this really massive door handles of course you get this really good door handles to help you climb and uh this is leather full leather interior in this car uh, i think it's silver or gray 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 leather yes and it's actually really good and just come and press this and you get a really good armrest and um, wonderful cup holder so you just come and you know have your drinks and whatnot etc but in case you don't need just pull it back and actually three adults can sit right here i'm actually also very comfortable however maybe legroom is quite not good but again it's really spacious i mean this car is massive so three adults my size can actually fit right here and if you can come closer you can check that to get air vents for the people at the back and you can actually control your own temperature right here and this is just the knob to adjust the volume for your music now at the driver's seat uh, these seats are actually really cool i love the way they are very comfortable and they're actually electronically adjusted as you can see i'm just moving forward to my preferred driving position i think in uh, more modern and advanced uh, 
uh, models of this car you can actually get memory settings for this one you do not have memory settings so this is actually a good place to sit in i love the steering wheel is fat wood and also leather finish much functional steering wheel of course you have the cruise control and all, and all other uh, great cogs and features uh handbrakes gear shift this is actually a six speed automatic as we're going to see and another cool feature that we want us to look at right here where you place your hand you can place your phone and if you now open up fully you get what you call a cool box so i don't know whether you can come closer this is actually where you can actually make your drinks and all that to be warm also to maintain the temperature as you see cool box you just press power on and you turn it on it's gonna cool your drinks and all that even as you travel and of course it's really good of course it's leather and uh, right here we just press and get good cup holders of course you get the gear knob right here and right here we have the usb and aux so where you can actually charge your phone you just plug in your usb right here and also the aux cable i don't know whether you can see it on the video but yeah you also have another power outlet right here and you have a small storage compartment for putting in your documents and uh, you know whatnot just a few things right here so now the main thing that i want to look at the infotainment system in this car it's really amazing and it's really huge and massive this is not stock in 2011 version as i told you this was a lift and therefore a few quirks and features have been changed and therefore this is actually a big screen i want us to look at it uh, really need to look at it. Uh, right as you can see the screen lights up and it's actually a really good and massive screen however i think it's very really delicate especially when you have young kids uh, sitting right here it's full touch screen and it's actually really amazing so you can actually control your things through the skin the, the screen the climate control and all that and all that so it's actually really good and this way you actually adjust the temperatures or even through the screen as you can see uh it it looks really good i love it i mean the graphics are good okay so just come here and touch here so we actually reduce the volume and this way you can actually control your climate through uh, the fan speed through the infotainment screen basically everything that you get on the info infotainment screen is right here so it's actually good to use as you can see you can connect on android you have the google maps as, as long as you have hotspot you can always open up the google maps and key in as you can see this is the map of kenya and we're in nairobi so just zoom in and you know you can key in, key in your location and just follow right here instead of kila saku confirm na see just come here and zoom in up to where we are as you can see look, 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 look. Yeah, here we are. Four points by Sheraton Chaka Road, and uh, I think it's in and in, in Car City. Yeah, yeah, Car City Limited. As easy as that. I mean, this is really good. I think this is one of my favorite features in this car, and uh, it's a really cool feature that I think you guys should should just come and buy this car. So this car has really cool features, and even can start by this. This is actually what you call call control, and helps you climbing the car especially when you're on steep hills it helps your car to crawl really good so you don't even need to press on the acceleration you just leave it and the car will crawl and you this actually will just adjust the speed speed one speed two and speed three depending on how fast you want to go uphill and this actually power is actually for just boosting the engine and gearbox to give you utmost power and what you see here is actually the high range and the low range so this high range is actually good for just normal cruising in the city and all that uh, faster gear shifts and low range here l4 is actually for um, the gear it, it, it's actually good for especially maybe when you're going on rocky surfaces and really want to go slowly so it gives you a lot of power and the gear shifts are actually quite uh, not as fast as in high range therefore you really get to feel the power and optimizes actually the power of the engine so right here there's actually two buttons this first one is for traction control and uh, especially when you're doing slippery, uh, sl uh, slippery slopes it helps you to be steady and also on the road and this one helps you for engaging and disengaging the diff lift now on my other side so what you see here is actually called idle up because this is a diesel engine this actually warm warms up the engine before you start it's actually just adjust the mirrors actually the side mirrors are really massive and i love them it's actually for folding them and what you see here the rcsa this is actually what we call the roll sensing curtain airbag this is basically where if you turn it on the airbag will deploy when a rollover is detected instead of an actual collision so well i really think it's an optional condition i think for me i'd rather put it off because maybe you might be rolling over and you don't and then the airbags deploy you know that's now you're near sarangini kubwa sana so this is actually the headlight washer 
because you see some few gaps right here meaning that it's a higher version of this car that actually has all this activated and i know in as much as you have not explained a few of the things and the quirks and features that you have in this car there are a few other things that i really love us to know because you have brake assist you have electronic brake force distribution because you have so many airbags with your engine mobilizer anti-locking braking and all that so this is basically a one of a kind car what you have here is a massive 4.5 liter v8 engine it's actually a d4d it's a turbo diesel and it gives about 650 newton meters of torque which is actually very phenomenal and i love the way that because due to that you get a lot of power and the fuel consumption is actually quite high you get around 11 uh, liters per 100 kilometers i know it is high but you know the people who buy this car you don't buy it for economy you buy it for maximum performance and therefore it's a really wonderful engine and a lot of people actually really understand this story for that a lot of people really understand this engine a lot of mechanics and therefore it's not really a hard one to maintain and i know you're gonna love it and i'm sure you're gonna love it just come over here to agwin's kodek road at car city limited and you're gonna check this car because we're selling at 7.9 million shillings only i mean that's a really good price so what next now to go for a test drive all right so we want to start this test drive and you're just exiting the yard here on Adam the Road, just here at Car City Limited. So right about now, I want, us to, want to take this beast of a car on the road and see how it performs right here. Well, you are, this car is so big, so humongous, a lot of presence so that all people actually respect you. Wow, so, whoa! <laughs> Igari, in a toka teke. So, for starters, this, this road is not even and uh, there's a lot of body roll but that's actually normal especially when you're driving high-end cars and SUVs like this so that's not a that's not a bad thing because it's actually expected <laughs> this car is so wide you know I'd, I'd actually underestimated it this is my first time driving something huge humongous like this and therefore I love it and um, I love the suspension I mean you can feel that the car is really solid uh, the steering wheel is, is not stiff it's not light because we are currently driving just on the normal mode. Oh, yeah? Oh, hey, so I'm talking to you too. Okay, I'm talking to you too. Okay, I'm talking to you too. Oh, guy. <laughs> All right, so I guess, I guess I demerit in this car is the horn. Your, your horn is so, it's so, it's so, it's so, I mean, it's so common. And um, I love the feeling. As I told you, this is a turbo diesel car. Super fast, a lot of torque. This car can actually pull, uh, I don't know, it has a pull, Nini. It's, I mean, it's so heavy. Eh, ah, it's just this accelerator. In the Garia, we're Shimiwa. So, come on, we're Shimiwa, and you're watching this video. Do visit us at Car City Limited on the Arguings, Code the Road, just into the Center. I'm gonna give you a test drive, I'm gonna buy it for only 7.9 million shillings. What do feel? There's, there's like a capote like a barabara, and, ba and barely, this is what we're going to Gari, we're barely feeling it because uh, it's a wonderful car. I mean, wow. <laughs> the top speed in this car is 260 kilometers per hour. And I know this car, you can push it to the limit, but of course, you're not going to do that. But um, because you know it can, 4.5 liter V8 turbo diesel, this is a wonderful car. This is amazing. This is super, I love it, I love it. I really feel good driving this car, I feel so confident on the road. I mean, you know, what on a kwache too barabara because this is a car that has a lot of presence. This is a car that demands respect. So whenever you're on the wheel, whenever you drive this car, I feel like you're the king of the road. And as I told you, this car is also very wonderful in off-roading. As fortunately, to look in the CBD, I don't know, I couldn't have off-road, but for now, we're just going to drive this right here and then to Kajua Ville Itaenda. So, I know a lot of people normally ask, why? Why do people buy these cars? As I told you, the fuel economy is actually not good because you do, you get around 11, um, 11 liters per 100 kilometers, which is actually, which is actually really quite uh, expensive to maintain. But, well, this is the diesel version. I'm sure when you have the petrol one is even much higher. But again, as I told you earlier, the people who buy this car don't buy it for economy, you buy it for maximum performance. And as I told you, this is a diesel engine, it has a lot of pulling power to 650 Newton meters of torque. I mean, that's just, that's just insane. That is just 
insane. So you're actually cruising and you're climbing the hill and man, whoa, this car is flying. What? <laughs> and the suspension is really good. This car is so smooth. I love the feeling, you know, the way Una bounce bounce feels so good, uh, you know. All right, now watch out to accelerate for Mulima. Igari is so smooth. It's super fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's super fast. <laughs> what? Yeah? Whoa, bro. You got in a Panamlima very effortlessly, and that's really, really cool. Why well, you're doing like 1.5 revs, Nagari in a Toka Teke, literally. A Toka Teke, literally. You got a switch lane, but you can see it. So I guess, you know, I'm just gonna. Yeah, and do so. But, but I tell you, this. I mean, this is why people buy V8s. I mean, this is a wonderful car. And though in Kenya, they normally say, this is what Kenyans refer to as a V8. And I tell you, the power, the torque, the, um, the 650 newton meters of torque is actually really, really cool and amazing. So remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit, like, and hit the like button, and tell us what are the cool features that you like about this car. And then we're going to review them. And tell us which car you want us to do next, because, we got a lot of them.